Now, hello everybody, so when applying effects to Lightworks, you might need to specify where in the clip the effect happens, you may need to specify where in the clip changes take place, etc. Well, how do you exercise precise control over an effect in Lightworks? The answer is keyframing. Keyframing is a very simple concept that enables you to do just that, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So step one is you want to select a clip and place it in the timeline in the edit tab. And as you can see here, I have this rather pretty looking butterfly flapping his wings. You then want to go to the VFX tab. And in here, you can add any effect you want. You click the little plus icon, click the 3D DVE, for example, and add that as an effect. And you can see right here, you have this little timer icon. If you enable this by clicking it, that any changes made to the effect with these parameters will be recorded. This is what enables keyframing. If you do not have this timer icon near the clip, then you cannot keyframe the clip. But if you have it, then you can click on it to enable it, and you can keyframe these sections here. And I'll leave these grayed out, so I cannot keyframe the changes made here or here. Only this will be keyframe. So I can start out by adding a keyframe here by clicking the plus button. So I just added a keyframe at the beginning. You can then play the clip and stop it wherever you want. And you can just make some changes to the keyframeable sections just by making these changes. And you can see right here, another keyframe was automatically added. So if I jump to the first keyframe by clicking this arrow button here, and I play the clip, the clip's going to move and it will move until it gets to this keyframe here. So I can now add another set of keyframes, for instance, by changing it again. I'll jump to the previous keyframe and click clip. And there it is there. I can add, say, another change. Whenever I make these changes, a keyframe will automatically be added. But let's just say I want to delete a keyframe. Well, use the arrow button here, go to the one you want to delete, hit the minus button. And that's as simple as that. And by the same token, I can also add a keyframe simply by hitting the plus button or by positioning the playhead where I want it and just making all kinds of changes here. So that's the basics of it. But there's a more advanced um, control settings you can have in the, in the graphs tab right here. Click graphs and you can see I can keyframe each of these individually right now. See, I can grab this keyframe and I can move it here. I can also change the keyframe by moving it up and down. I can change the amount of rotation in the Y axis, for instance. I can play this clip some more, maybe right here. I can stop it. I can add a separate keyframe to the X rotation right there if I wanted to. I can go back. I can play it a little bit more, or rather, I just ran out of space. I can position the playhead wherever I want it. I can grab the, the Y and I can add another keyframe right there. You can jump to the keyframes with your arrow button the same way we did before. And you can hit the minus to delete one if you wanted to. You can position the playhead wherever you want it. You can click the plus to add one or you can just do what we did before and just grab the, uh, the, the line, the little graph here and just move it wherever you want it. Just add your keyframe right there. So this is how you really control the keyframes in this section here. And you can see whenever we position a playhead somewhere, it'll show up here. And if I make a change here, it will add a keyframe right there as well. And when we go back and play this clip, the clip's gonna do all kinds of crazy things. See, wow, oh, that's that's a crazy clip right there. <laughs> so that's really it. Um, that's how you add keyframes to Lightworks and how you control them. The real power is in the graphs tab, as you just saw right there. So, you know, so how's your progress been with learning keyframes? Is there anything specific I can tell you that I didn't cover in this video? What other information about Lightworks do you want to know? Leave a comment and let me know because I'll make videos based on what your comments uh, ask for. And please subscribe to my channel and like this video and share it. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.